today's tutorial we are going to be discussing about features of the computer so by the end of today's tutorial you must have known or understand the disadvantage the advantage and the characteristics of the computer all right then let's get started now let's discuss about the characteristics of the computer first we have the accuracy we also have the storage the versatility and the consistency so now let me explain all of this to you now beginning with the accuracy the computer is actually very very accurate now let's give for instance we want to calculate something maybe in our excel um, and then what, what we need to do is just insert our digits and then put in our, our sign if it's the addition or the subtraction or whatsoever then you hit your enter key on your keyboard and then it's going to give you the answer so that is what that is just what it means by the accuracy so the computer is not going to give you another answer it's going to give you the accurate answer so the computer is not like we humans that we can actually make a mistake maybe in process of calculating instead the computer is going to give you the accurate answer now next is storage now every computer has a storage if there are no storage there is no way you can run anything in the computer so the bigger your storage the bigger the space you have the more you'll be able to have more softwares or even that of folders or whatsoever in your computer so the storage having the storage in your computer is very very necessary and important now how about the versatility the computer can actually be running millions of things at once in just the computer it is very 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 possible you can run so many things on just the computer now for instance you can open a Chrome and search for something or you can quickly run to YouTube and watch anything on YouTube and you, if you still be working at the same time you can still go back to do something else all of that will still be working and even someone else can be somewhere and also be doing exactly the same thing which is watching on YouTube and it will still run so concerning the versatility you can run so many softwares on your computer now it has stages or would i say it is not all computer that can actually do that now what is actually going to be stopping that it is what we call the processor speed now the processor speed in the computer the higher your processor speed the higher or the faster your computer would be so if your computer is actually not running everything then maybe it is slow in the process of trying to run too many softwares at the same time it would be because of your processor speed so the higher your processor speed the faster your computer then the last one there is the consistency now the computer is actually consistent like for instance you can keep using the computer every day and it will still be consistent now you can also be uploading a file or videos on youtube or whatsoever all of this will continue to run every day so that is just for the consistency so these are the characteristics of the computer and also serves as the advantages of the computer so if you have some other advantages or you have some questions you'd like to ask just drop it in the comment section so i want everyone watching this video to drop more characteristics of the computer in the comment section all right next we have the disadvantages of the computer now the computer number one dangers of hacking and two health issues now concerning the dangers of hacking for instance we log into a website and we are trying to pay with our debit card now if we are not sure of the site where we are trying to put in our debit card details it can actually be hacked so you see you, we all need to be careful even while using the computer and also maybe in the process of trying to put in our debit card to on on known websites or to a website in a computer so we should be careful and at the same time very sure of which we are doing so lastly we have the health issues now let's take for instance we have been using the computer for a very long time let's say we use it in the morning down to the afternoon and even in the evening 
and we just continue to repeat that same process every day it can actually be an issue to our health now in what way it can affect our eyes now the monitor has rays it's actually push in light rays to our eyes so if we don't use the computer in a proper way it can also affect our health now what do i mean by using the computer in a proper way maybe using lens that can actually help with the light rays from the monitor all right so these are some of the disadvantages of the computer so there are so many other disadvantages now like i said Concerning the advantages, you can add more or let us know about more in the comment section. Alright, this is where we are going to stop. Do not forget, hit the subscribe button, continue to like the video, also share this video. So, if you like to learn more about this, continue to follow us for more and do not forget to turn on the notification icon. Also, if you want to know about the introduction to computer, you can hit the video right up there. All right, so see you guys in our next class and stay safe.